exciting today because we've got a new tank. That's right, back on LC Pie, it's new tank day and we're pretty excited. Let's get it open. So what is quite strange here, um, it says promotion version, so I don't really know what that means. S, metal drive, metal drive gearbox version. Now, as far as I'm aware, this should have metal tracks and um, metal drive and um, idler wheel as well. Let's have a look around the box. Uh, nice box, as they all are now from Heng Long. Um, I think this is just some of the features of the real tank, which is quite nice. A bit of information about that real tank as well. And then on the end here, it's got the four different versions that they do. So the standard one, so that's all plastic, plastic gears, um, plastic tracks, and plastic wheels. Um, they do the MS, that's metal gears, um, metal tracks, metal wheel, pro. That seems to be all the same as well. Oh, metal rocker arms as well. And metal road wheels. Oh, that's got metal road wheels. So that's the difference between those, I guess. I don't know. I don't quite understand. This is a, one of the problems with Heng Long. They do that many different versions, and the names aren't very clear, that you don't really know what you get until you get it. Um, it is quite confusing. But let's get it open and see what's inside. Right, there's a box of BBs there. I'm not going to take that out right now. So let's see what we've got. The tank, obviously. Looking very nice, I have to say. That is really nice. The, the paint job on it, it's got a camo paint job. It's very subtle, very nice indeed. Now, I've had a look at some stuff on Sherman's and it doesn't look like there were many different paint jobs, to be honest. It seems like they just came in green. So I'll look into that a bit more before deciding whether to paint it up anymore we'll make a decision but for now it's quite weighty and it has got as we wanted as we expected metal drive wheels metal tracks metal idler wheel and should be metal drive as well metal gearbox right as well as that we've got the the radio, exactly the same, exactly the same as the Tiger. There'll be, yeah, two, two sticks for your radio, and those just slot in. There we go. Um, what else we've got? They've given us a screwdriver. That's cool. So we can do the back wheel. That's good. We can take that back wheel off. And I will do that because I'm going to paint these tracks. Don't like them in silver. They wouldn't have looked like that. So I'm going to paint those up. I'll prime them and then paint them. Um, an Allen key as well. So that, yeah, that's a fit for the drive wheels. That's cool. Um, charger. Now it does come with a little lithium ion battery, this. It's just the same as the Tiger was. But this one's actually, this one has got an XT60 connector on the battery, which is cool because that's what I use all the time. So something I don't need to change over. Um, here we've got 
some extra track links, but those are the plastic links. So they've <laughs> left those in, even though we've not got the plastic tracks. Then there's the some spare metal links as well. So that's cool. Um, these are metal caps, metal hub caps, I suppose, for on the drive wheels and the idler wheels. So that's cool. So they'll need priming as well. Um, we've got the infrared receiver. Now, I think that goes on there. And that hatch is where it plugs in. You can see the socket on top there. So that will just plug in there if you're doing an infrared battle. And then we've got accessories. So there's a bag of accessories. We've got our commander in his dungarees. He's pretty cool. Um, a couple of spare road wheels. Um, a section of track for on the tank, for on the body. Um, these, those are little, oh, they're little covers from the top of the suspension mountings for each of those sets of road wheels. Um, that is the machine gun that will go in the front. And these are a little bit of, well, cl clear plastic. Um, it's kind of a, a mini fiber optic get up. So that will go, or oh, the other way in. I'm not gonna push it right in, but that will go in there. And you'll see the red light when you're firing the machine guns. Uh, we've got some ammo boxes here on this sprue. That's cool. This, now I think that is a, it's a stowage rack that will go on the back. Let's have a look. Yeah. So that will slide in there and then we can put things like the ammo boxes and other stowage on there rather than just having it all piled all over the tank. So that's quite nice. I've also learned recently that I was having a look in my tank book and found that it was common to put a plank across the front of a Sherman to make another rack to put another stuff on. Have a look in the accessory box, see what's in here. A Toucan Hobby card, that's where I got it from. Toucan Hobby, they're one of the main suppliers of Henglong for, for everywhere around the world. Um, plastic hubcaps, even though I got these metal ones hub covers, whatever they're called on a tank. Um, rucksacks and different bags, they're nice. And these are, with the Tiger, they're all, they are all painted. So the whole sprue is painted. This one's even painted in two colors, which is cool. Machine gun on there, um, various tools. There's a lot of pieces here. Various tools on there, spade and an axe. There's these loops. I don't know what those are, whether those are just like toe loops. Don't know. I'll have to look into that. They are. There's lots of them. Um, don't know what these are either. They kind of look like the tracks but I don't know what they actually are, little boxes. They kind, of, kind of look like little vents, little louvers for on a vent. Don't know, but lots of bits of accessories there. So I'll have to do some research and see what colors some of those should be and paint them up. What I did on the Tiger and then regretted it was I put everything on and then decided, oh, I want to paint it. And then it's a bit trickier. Now, I could probably prize them off, put them in and then prize them out, but you'd risk breaking them then. So this time I'm going to paint things up first. Right, oh, 
This is something that I didn't get with the other one. This is a Toucan Hobby card. And the crux of this seems to be, well, they're giving you some extra instructions because they say that the Henglong factory instructions aren't all that good and some troubleshooting things. And also lots of reminders that if you have any trouble, then contact Toucan Hobby. So that's cool. Lots of lots of contact methods on here, email and Skype and FaceTime and all sorts of things. So that's cool. That's cool that you've got an extra line of contact. So I'm left with AliExpress, Toucan Hobby, or I guess potentially Hang Long themselves. I would, of course, recommend that if your local model shop can get these or has these, that you go to your local model shop because you will get the service. And we want to keep our local model shops going, don't we? We've got the aerial there, which will just go on the back there. And the manual. Oh, some double-sided sticky pads. I guess that's for sticking some of the accessories, probably for putting the driver in here. Stick him down. Not driver. Commander. The driver will be down here, inside somewhere. Um, Instructions. Now the hang long instructions are kind of thorough, um, mixed between, well, they're Chinese and English, so the dual language, but they are quite good instructions overall. There's the odd thing that you've got to, you know, use your sense to figure out just what the Chinglish means, but overall. They're pretty comprehensive. It shows you where all the all the different parts go, all those accessories, um, how to put the stickers on. I'm not going to try. I'm just going to stencil it myself or just paint it by hand for the markings because, well, I don't trust them. After the after the ones I did for the tiger, all doing the best to come off. I'm not not worried about that and all the spare parts and then how the radio gear works. It's definitely worth a read if you've not had a hang long before. There's the sticker sheet or decal sheet um, and you get one of these targets, a cardboard target for shooting your BBs at. So that's the tank. It's pretty cool. I think it's nice. I have put a battery in, a charged battery. Now, because of how it stows, it's a bit tricky to get at the power switch. So the way you do it with the hang long, with the sevens at least, power on your transmitter, which takes six AAs, power on your tank, your lights will flash, you know it's working, but nothing will work until you press the lock button and then it'll start up so you've got different volume settings old volume and up or down on the left stick I'm going to keep it quiet we've got the smoke button Let's see if it's got smoke in There we go, smoking already. Plenty of smoke there. Wow, there we go. Cool, I'm going to turn that off. It's like I've been vaping. I don't do vaping. Who knows what's going into your lungs with all that. Um, and left stick is your turret and your barrel. Maximum, down, and up. Is it metal? Yeah, that's a metal barrel. And then right stick. There we go. It works. And so there you go. Fully working tank. I'm going to turn it off just for the noise. There we go, locked it. 
So if you do want to get yourself one of these, um, I got it from AliExpress. I'll put a link below. Um, it was £129 and then plus the shipping and the tax came to about £200, which is about $240. Um, you can probably get it for a little bit more locally. Um, like I say, if you can, support your local hobby shops, local model shops. Um, they were all out of stock for me, so I went to AliExpress. I've nothing against AliExpress anyway, uh, but be prepared for that long wait, especially if you're getting a full metal one, because that is heavy and they're not going to want to post that by airmail. But yeah, if you want to get yourselves one of these, get in there because they are great. They're excellent. Now, they may only be starter tanks. Even though it's the full metal version, people will tell you hang long or only starter tanks. But they're a great starter tank. You can't go wrong with them. They're great value. And then you can always upgrade the parts as you go. So if you want to see some more of this, stay tuned to RC Pi. Um, please throw me a like on the video and leave me a comment. I do like to comment back. I like to reply to everything that you put down there. So please tell me your thoughts. Hit the bell if you want to see when we've got more stuff coming out and we will see you soon. I'd normally say keep driving. Now I'll say keep tanking. Don't know. But see you soon on RC Pie. Thanks for watching.